Question number six is a 520 newton uniform rectangular sign four meters wide and three meters high is suspended from a horizontal six meter long uniform 140 newton rod as indicated in the figure below. The left end of the rod is supported by a hinge and the right end is supported by a thin cable making a 30 degree angle with the vertical. Assume the cable is connected to the very end of the six meter long rod and that there are two meters separating the wall from the sign. A, find the magnitude of the tension, T, in the cable, and B, find the horizontal and vertical components of the force exerted on the left end of the rod by the hinge. Take up and to the right to be positive directions. Indicate the direction with the sign of your answer. So here's what we have is, uh, is this sign, and I'm going to label a few things on here. This thing weighs a f uh, 520 newtons and this rod that's holding it weighs 140 newtons. The rod is this distance right here is 6 meters and the sign from here to here is 4 meters and so we got to figure out um, the tensions so that we can figure out we got to figure out the torques so we can figure out the tensions and so I'm going to go ahead and, and write this stuff down to uh, on the side so I've got the dimensions of the bar, the dimensions of the sign, and what we need to do is we're supposed to assume that this, um, this cable right here is actually attached to the very end, is what the question tells us to assume. So we want to find the, the torque right here and the torque right there. And so what we have to do is we, for, for the bar, we know that the torque is center mass, so it's, it's got to have, um, it's six meters long, so center mass is three meters, so the torque presented on, on the hinge, the torque presented on the hinge is going to, is going to equal, so three meters times 140 newtons, plus, so that's the, that's from the bar, plus we got to find the center mass of this, which we know it's two meters from the wall, it's two meters from the wall, and it's a total of four meters long, so um, half of its mass would be at two meters, and so this two plus this two makes four meters, so four meters times its weight, which was 520 newtons, 520 newtons, so you do the arithmetic, and so it's going to be 420 plus plus uh, 2,080 is going to equal the, the torque um, on the hinge. So I'll call it T1. T1 equals 2080 plus 420 is 2,500 newton meters, newtons times meters. And then now we got to figure out the torque on the on the cable end. So we'll call this T2. So the, the torque on the on the cable is going to be equal to, and so we said the, the sign was four meters long, so halfway to the sign is two meters. So two meters, two meters times its weight is 520 newtons, and it's going to be equal to the, the mass of the bar so, um, times three meters. So three meters times the 140 newtons, and then you just do the math. So this is going to be equal to 1,040 plus 420. So T2 equals 1,460 newton meters. So what I want to do is set up a, a, a ratio so that the sum of all the torques divided by the torque 1 is going to be equal to the sum of all the forces divided by force or over force under force 2 uh, and I should this should be down here there we go so what I mean by that is we have a force of 1460 on this guy so 1460 and we have a torque of 2500 on on this other end so we had 2500 and that's the sum of all the torques and and if we div divide that under either if we call this guy uh, what did we say T1 was? T1 was, was this side right here. And so if we, if we say that T1, so we put 21 or 2,500 on top, 2,500, it should be equal to the force on, on it should be equal to the force um, pulling straight down on this one. 
um, divided by the sum of all the forces. Well, what's the sum of all the forces? That's going to be the mass times acceleration, or or just the sum of the newtons. So the the newtons, um, the total of all the newtons was, if we, you remember right, it was 520, 520 plus 140. So this is equal to force two. So this is the force pulling straight down, um, straight down right here. So we we are going to get uh, to the force on the tension on the line by finding out what this force is and then timesing it. So we know that the angle here is 30 degrees, and so we can we can times it. We can actually we don't times it. We got to divide it by um, the the cosine of 30 degrees. So the ratio, whenever this is simplified, it's 0 0.6313 equals this F2 over over 520 plus 140. So so it equals F2 over 660. And then with a little bit of algebra, you can find that that F2 equals 406. Let me undo that. 416.67 newtons. So now we have a relationship, so this is the sign, and here is force one pulling down at 416 and two-thirds, and then we have this other, this other force going up, and it's, it's breaking even with force one, so we can, we got to figure out what this is. Well, we know that, that the sine of, of theta equals, or rather, or rather cosine, rather, of the cosine of theta equals the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And so we know what the adjacent is. So if we wanted to solve this for the hypotenuse, we would get the hypotenuse equals the adjacent over cosine theta. So we're going to say that, that the hypotenuse here equals 416 point six seven divided by cosine thirty. And so the force pulling back this this tension, the tension is equal to four hundred eighty one point one three newtons. That is the force pulling this way. So now we have our first answer. So we have that the tension the tension is equal to four hundred and eighty one Point point one three newtons, and now we have to figure out um, what's the tension that this this hinge right here is both since this thing has the, since this tension on the line has a force in this direction, this uh, hinge has to have a normal force in that direction that balances uh, the the force of the line, and also we know that the the hinge is also holding this so this is pulling down right here so the hinge is pulling it up as well so we could use our our tension um, our our sum of the tensions of uh, our tension 2 divided by the sum of the tensions if we wanted to to go that way but we already know uh, or not tension I meant torque uh, but we already know what the force is going up here and since this the total force is is uh, we calculated the total force was the 520 newtons plus the the 140 newtons. We add that together to get 660 newtons. That's the total force, and we know that the force pulling straight up was simply um, this 416 newtons. So the the 416 plus x. Uh, equals 660 newtons. That's the force pulling down right here. X is this this force um, pulling up by the spring by the by the uh, by the hinge. So 660 minus 416 gives us an X equals 240 newtons. And that, so that's the horizontal component. That's uh, that's the I'm sorry. Actually, I did my math wrong. That's 244, basically 244 newtons. 
right there. And that is the vertical component. So that's vertical component of that force. And so we have the force pulling down of uh, the force of the hinge pulling back up is going to be equal. So it's 244. Now we just need to know the force of the hinge pushing outward, which is going to be equal to, equal to the this this motion exerted by this tension right here. So we can calculate that as well. Let me clear this all out. So the the uh, tension was 418.13 and so if we calculate the sine, sine of 30 times that tension sine of 30 degrees times the tension it should equal and I'm right with errors today this one goes right there 481 and so you calculate that it's 240.57 Newtons pushing out that way by the by the hinge